Welcome, guys, to this exclusive chat. I have my co-host, Barry. Barry, can you wave to the fans? Uh, hello. Uh, once, uh, once more, my name is uh, Dunstone Barry, and I'd like to invite our guests uh, for today. Uh, we have uh, Constant Wahura for Butali Sugar. Okay, we have uh, Paul Mariba for Stark University and uh, Victor Siche. And uh, guys, uh, can you just uh, wave to the fans? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Karibuni, karibuni sana. This is just an awesome opportunity to have such great captains with us today. Karibuni, feel free. And today we're just going to discuss stuff about hockey. Uh, we're going to discuss a little bit about your teams and just know the great work that you guys do behind the scene. So we'll start by asking you guys how sports influence you, how hockey influences your personal life. What does hockey do to you that you feel it's so important to you? Because you guys are so passionate about the sport. So we'll start with Osiche. Uh, hockey has done so much for me in life at a personal level. The growth of character. Those who have seen me playing from high school to club level and uh, some point the national team know how hockey has uh, changed me through the, the, the faces. So hockey will make you become uh, the, the, the complete individual that you desire to be, how you interact with people, how you make your decisions. Because on the field within the 60 minutes, you make the decisions under, under high pressure within the 60 minutes. So hockey will help you match up the skills of, of your normal life. Okay. Constance? Hi, guys. Okay. Hi. Okay. I've done a lot of my life. It has helped me uh, become a team player, both in the field and at workplaces. It helps you to make decisions, life decisions, even in the field. Hockey makes you become sharp. Yeah. Paul? Uh, I can say that hockey helps to build your mental strength. Uh, in that when you're in the field, what you do in the field will imply in your life decisions. Yeah, some, some, sometimes the decision making really impacts in your <clears throat> social life. And it also boosts friendships. You see, most of my friends are from hockey, so I'd say it has impacted a lot in my social life. And yeah, that's it. Karibuni sana. For fans, feel free to ask questions to these great captains. And again, you're welcome to this exclusive chat. So we'll just start by uh, just telling us how the challenges, the challenges you guys face being captains of big teams. What are some of the challenges that you guys undergo in running the teams? Constance. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> like in Butali, Butali... Most people expect you to perform, the team to perform well. <laughs> and they expect you to also to play well. They expect you also to become a role model to others. That's the challenge. So if you mess around, you just know that people are looking upon you. You are a, a role model to others. So you need to, to behave well off the pitch and in the pitch. You are like a leader. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Paul? Mm, I think Kony has hijacked my point. <laughs> 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 that, that's the problem of hanging out with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, can you repeat your question kindly? I was just asking some of the challenges you guys face in leading the team because you guys are leading a lot of people. A lot of people are watching you. People are behind your back. What are some of the challenges that you experience being a captain? Mm, some of the challenges are like everyone is looking upon you. So if you make a mistake, they'll definitely do something and say, even the captain does this. So you have to like be on your best behavior. And uh, at times, you can disagree with your teammates and it affects friendship too. So, you must be just at all times. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, Siche? Uh, <clears throat> just to record what my friends have said, eh? uh, the biggest challenge becomes balancing your off-the-field relations with the on-field relations with your teammates. There comes a time that you have to make a decision that will go, will brush their shoulders. But now that's the best decision for the team. So whoever doesn't throw that line is kept off. So you work with a bigger, with a bigger lot of the team. That's now the biggest challenge of being a captain of some of, of such big clubs, at least from my experience. Yeah, and I, I can see all of you are leading by example, and that's a good example because most of you here, if not all, you have uh, really achieved a lot in life, have really won big, big awards, have the team to great, great achievements. So kudos on that. Back to you, Barry. Okay, thank you. Uh, we all know we'll, we love the sport, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we all love the sport and uh, uh, we love to play hockey. And so being a captain is such a big, big role. So how is it uh, being a captain for the, for the team? Let's start with you, Constant Aura. How is it being a captain? First, okay, you, first of all, okay. Being a captain, you you are just you are just a player. First of all, you you should know that you are a player. So you should work extra hard. And you are a, let me say a pivot between the management and the players. So mm-hmm. you are the one to relay the information and also you need to be a good example. If you say this, you should also be doing that thing you're saying. You should lead as example. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Constant. Uh, what about you, Victor Siche? Uh, being a captain is uh, is an additional role. Uh, being a player, so you have more duties that you expect to perform for yourself, for the club, and for your teammates. So basically, you're supposed to push yourself the extra mile in whatever thing that you're doing so that the people behind you can know this is what you're doing and you can get here if you do this much so it's not an easy task so before you take it up you have to know what's your what's your kind of duty that you want to protect and what you're going to face for you and against you as well okay thank you so much uh paul mariba tell us what you what you what you need to hear <laughs> uh, <I> th- <laughs> I'm just happy. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, uh, being a captain is a privilege because you've been given the privilege to serve the team. So in everything that you do, you must be to the service of the team. So uh, as Connie said, when people do like 90% you're supposed to do and 20% so that you can help the team, the team grow and also win because we are all in this to win. And uh, <clears throat> that's all. Okay, thank you. I indeed, uh, being a captain, it's such a big role, but uh, you guys being the captain of such big clubs in the Premier League, definitely the men of hard work. And uh, this takes me to my, my next question. Uh, we we have our coaches, different coaches, the ones that we they want to to name the squad for themselves for themselves. Uh, do you take part in uh, naming the squad, or is it just the work of the the coaches? Uh, we'll start with you, uh, Constant Aura. <laughs> uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not not exactly naming the squad, but you can have some ideas or or maybe one or two things you can give the coach but you know the coach is the final one to make the decision true true yeah i don't have much about that so have you (laughs) have you ever named the squad (laughs) before your school that uh, today decided to to say that uh, coach i've uh i've decided that today these guys uh, should play and the coach uh, contributes a bit (laughs) first of all (laughs) I'm a captain in Butati, but I've not played any game as a captain, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I've, not, yeah, yeah. I've not made any. <laughs> it's okay. okay you're uh, what about you, uh, Victor, Victor Siche? What about you? Mm, I think most of the time that's the call for 
that's a call that a coach makes on a daily basis need a time of playing a match uh, friendly all you can do all i do from uh, as for my side uh, just to advise the coach you can use this guy here you can use this guy here but to make the final decision the coach is going to decide who he feels can give him the best in that day but you just engage like on a light talk who can i use here what kind of system can you play but more like just advice and some chit chat but the final decision always rests with the coach the technical director and the gm they make the final decision about that okay oh nice uh what about your you paul paul mariba uh <clears throat> according to me yeah i, I think koni has played with coach metak senge and even jili yeah <laughs> yeah you are normally asked to give your preferred squad so that like you can chip in like say what you think about such and such a person and uh at times the score that you've mentioned can be played or some of the guys are not played so it's up to the coach to make the final call okay thank you so much um okay i have another another question for you guys uh okay these these experiences that we have uh for instance uh butali warriors yeah uh, you are playing a game uh, against uh uh parkrod parkrod tigers then you guys uh lose how how do you take it as a as a as a captain you get to in- inspire your your teammates to continue fighting or uh, you leave it to the coaches uh, uh tell us tell us about it okay you must you, you inspire the teammates to continue fighting yeah. losing is not the end of life it's a learning curve you go back and strategize and come back at a very high note yeah okay, thank you uh, what about you victor siche uh there's one thing i believe about life huh? you'll yeah. you'll go down you can go down again you can go down but you just have to keep doing whatever you're doing so long as it's right you just keep doing whatever you're doing I remember there's a time we began the league and lost two games. So after two games we're still bottom of the table, but we still kept on training. Because the moment you give up now, it means you've given up on everything and you're ready to let go. You might find yourself being relegated. So as so long as you're doing the right thing and you're losing, keep doing it until you get it right. So at some point you'll start winning the games, the confidence comes back and then you pick up from there. but losing is not a crime you lose one win two lose another one but just keep doing the right thing until you get better thank you so much such a wise words from my wise man <laughs> uh, what about you paul paul mariba what have you, what have you got to say um, as you all know uh, last season was not a good season for us completely <laughs> <laughs> so you already started uh, putting yourself yeah. into that mood could you tell yeah no 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 i'm just mentioning the facts yeah so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> in in sports as my tm always says we win some we lose some so last season was not a good season and we kept on motivating each other so i think we are supposed to motivate each other uh when we win and when we lose because see it's not it's not every day that you'll be on your good day sometimes you are on your bad day and all that so we keep on motivating each other and bring each other up thank you so much on that on that on on, on that on that barry on that on polo my rivers point yeah. Paul, yeah. someone has just decided to mention you here and that person is saying is asking you to give us your experience in South Africa as you depart first experience in the national team. Uh, uh that's a uh, some very bad memories there. <laughs> Starting from the first game uh, as you all know you guys watched some of you guys were there it was not a good experience and I normally try to forget it and I just want to move on from it. It was not a good experience. <laughs> yeah. Do you think do you think I'll you pass- learned of, of course of course 
in everything, there is always a learning curve. Do you think you learn something during that period you in South Africa as a player and as a captain? Yeah, I learned a lot. And uh, I think I implemented on our last remaining games what I learned there. And it helped in uh, the games we won, I think. Okay. Constance yeah. Wabura, you are the captain. You are his captain. <laughs> how was how was it being a captain in South Africa in that team? It was fine. It was fine. Leading national team. Although we didn't perform well, but I really enjoyed myself. I think we gave our best. Paul, it was his first experience. And he turned a lot. Most of us, we've been through, we've passed through there. And he's a good player. I believe in him. <laughs> and I think, and I think it's true. It's true because a first, the first, first, first uh, national assignment for people is always a torture because you're there, you've not done it. It's, it's a new system. It's a new group. It's, it's just so hard. Plus a lot of people are watching, you know, yeah. Osiche, you know that feeling. Can you tell us about it? <laughs> uh, I think I was lucky. Kony can tell you this. We were here uh, in Ghana in 2017. I think I was just lucky. The people that I was playing around, they really lifted me up. I was playing alongside Alano, Awis, Jijo, uh, who else was in the midfield? Karis. So they just tell you, keep on pushing. Let's do this. You can make it. And the tournament in Accra, Ghana was very, very okay for me. So I think I was just lucky the people was playing around it. And everyone else was just very supportive in that squad. So, but most people, as you say, it's true. It's, it's, always, a, it's always like more of like a stage fright because now this is a big stage, big game, no mistake. Any mistake is a goal. Uh, but Paul, don't give up. We're still learning. Get back there, do the same mistake again, do the same mistake again until you get it right. So slowly by slowly, you become a, a player. Yeah. I, I like I like to comment on Osiche's point. Okay. <laughs> uh, Connie really did a good job uh, encouraging us. You see, after every game, everybody is pissed at each other. So people just go and sleep. But as the captain, he kept on pushing us. And even in the bad times, he lifted us up. Even in the last game that we won, the only game that we won. <laughs> <laughs> Get us <laughs> Namibia. <laughs> <clears throat> I think he, he, he really did a good job. <clears throat> okay. Thank, thank you. Yeah. I'd like, uh, I'd like to cut you short. Um, I don't forget to comment in our comment section. I'd like to read a few comments. Uh, Arnold Abed, Abedi, you're tuned in. Sante sana. Uh, Griffin Sokombe, Asante Sana, Paul Mariba, thank you for watching. Mango Mnyalo, uh, uh, Charlene, Charlene Sydney, thank you for watching. Uh, Sydney Stadon, Walucho, thank you for watching. That, uh, uh, just a, a question from uh, Griffin Sokombe. He says, uh, Constant Oura, a captain for the national team at Butali. As a captain, you are like a custodian to your team culture. What's the main difference between the to, between between both the roles, how do you integrate given that both revo levels call for different ways of approach? Okay. <laughs> Griffith. Okay. In the national team, the only yeah. challenge is that most of them were my age mates. But in Bhutan, you see now different age groups. Yeah. I'm leading different age groups and I know they'll support me because we, we are in to win, we are here to win and we are here to work as a team to achieve the main goal. Yeah. Thank you so much. Back to you, Jilly. I think, I think these teams have a strong culture. All the three teams over here, like Sharks, I admire the culture of these guys. I think if I was a boy or a man, the best <laughs> team to go was Sharks. Life is just awesome. Osiche, just tell us about your life in Sharks. 
Uh, the ethos of the club are very clear. Like, uh, when you join the club, you are given a certain way of life. Yes, we want to win this trophy. We want to win this title. But at the end of the day, they want to make you. They want to make you a better man. As you grow, as you come through the life phases, you are done with your campus. You are done with your. You are looking for the job. You get your job. You settle. They want you to get those phases right throughout. Apart from performing on the field, you play good hockey, but they also want to see your growth off the field. So we try to get the balance, like you play good hockey when you can, and also off the field, have your social life going, so that at least you get the balance. And this is achieved through making uh, the members of the club that are senior than us. They'll always come for a training, uh, sit there on the side, guide us through life issues, hockey issues, and any other issues that you have to go through. So it's not just about hockey and home, no. After the game, after the training, you sit down. They take you through everything about life. You say whatever you want to say to them, and then you enjoy. If you lose, they still come back there, and then we continue. We pick up from where we left. But we still need, <laughs> okay. We still need to win and compete, yeah. Yeah, true. Connie, Joby Masters, yes. tell us about <laughs> your 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 uh, your staff. <laughs> Our staff, Joby. Okay. It's it's a it's a culture, Jombi. It's like a culture. Like as we as we come from the Luya land during that time of circumcision, <laughs> we sing those songs so that we can get the psych and morale. We implement it even in our in our games, in national team, Butali, even in Strathmore. It, it motivates us, it gives us psych. When you are down, it raises your spirits. It gives you the confidence, even, it doesn't matter the, 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 the team you are going to face, but that morale, that energy, that psych, yeah, it keeps us one, it brings us together to fight as a team and not to give up. I thought uh, <coughs> the Jombi, uh, it meant to scare other teams. Uh, <laughs> 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 in the other changing room are just listening to you guys uh, yeah. chanting and they're feeling, hey, today we are not going to beat these people, man. No, <laughs> they, know, they know we always turn up. We always turn up the volume louder than theirs. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then now we come to Polo Mariba, comeback masters. Yeah. Last mm. season, you guys had had comebacks, both in Kusa and in the league. <laughs> Can you tell us about it? What what motivated you guys to come back up when you're losing as a team? I think it's the it's the team culture, uh, Jombi. As Connie said, uh, I don't know if Jombi came from Strath or Butali. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> 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 Me, I found Jombi in Strath, and. <clears throat> we have continued with that culture. And as Connie said, it motivates the players. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, Osiche, back to you. Can you just tell us one player? Okay, I'll just name three things. The noisiest player in your team, the loudest, and the uncoachable or an un, un, <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 it was it was a bit of a mix yeah it was it was a bit of a mix it was it was it was a bit of a mix it was it was a bit of a mix it was it was a bit and the one that has answers to everything you say. I think Namonio will take the first two. <laughs> <laughs> but in a, in a good way. In a good way, he keeps everyone lively, but he's the noisiest and the loudest when we need him most. Uh, the third one, I'll choose not to answer. It might damage, it might damage a character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Connie. <laughs> you, you all know the answer. No, we don't. We don't. Actually, I want it to come from you. Are you sure? <laughs> I know the okay. answer, Connie. I know the answer. I also you know, know the answer. answer. 
the first two. I know that. Max. But the first one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, guys, uh, can you just uh, briefly, briefly tell us about your, Paul, uh, Paul, Paul has not, Paul oh, has not Paul answered ha- that. Okay, man. Paul, 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 back to you. <laughs> the, the noisiest and the loudest. Uh, that will be me. Yourself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, this person is the captain, he's the loudest, he's the craziest. Noisiest. I agree, I agree. <laughs> You should you should so, redistribute really these things. And and before I finish you guys, Barry, let me just ask, ask okay. this question from Tristan Caris. Tristan Caris is saying, when are you all getting married? Starting from Koni. I'm saying I only see you Pete. Koni nda me nifungia line bar. Good time. Good time is the best. Me o me nifungia line bar. Good time. Uh Okay, no, we will, um, ma- we will marry when we want. Barry, back to you. Thank you. Uh, so guys, uh, can you just tell us about uh, your training routines, uh, your respective club's training routines, uh, starting with uh, Butali Sugar, Constant Aura. Okay. Yeah. At this time of COVID, I know your usual, your usual uh, training routines. Oh, okay. Yeah, How in the case that uh, somebody wants to join uh, Butali Sugar, maybe tr- wants to train with you guys. Yeah. Okay. Our usual training routines is from... <laughs> I'm about to forget. I'm about to forget. <laughs> I, think, the captain. I think it's, it's Monday, uh-huh. Wednesday, and Friday. From five to eight at City Park. Then Saturday, Sunday, friendlies. If you don't have much, big much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what about uh, Green Sharks uh, Hockey Club? Our sessions are on Tuesday, mm-hmm. uh, Thursday, and Sunday. So on Tuesday. We use the timings after work, mostly from 6.30, 7, to about 9 p.m. so that people at least can have time from work, do the traffic jam, then get to our training ground. So Tuesday and Thursday, we do 6.30 to 9 p.m. And then Sunday, we do 10 a.m. to around 2 p.m. Where do you guys, uh, where do you guys train, train at uh, location? Oh, we train at uh, the ABSA. Sub Sports Club, formerly Buckley Sports Club, just next to KCA University Cottage. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What about uh, Strathmore, Strathmore University? Mm, we normally <laughs> we, we normally train at Strathmore Sports Complex and uh, City Park. Uh, on Mondays, we train at Strath at City Park, sorry. On Tuesdays, it's a SNC session, uh, strength and conditioning at Strathmore. Wednesday, we train at Strath. Thursday, we train at City Park. And Friday, we train at City Park. But Tuesday's session is not ours. It's normally for the ladies, but some of the guys normally hijack the session since they aren't train. <laughs> hey, Barry, Barry. Yes, Barry. yes, sir. Yes, sir. COVID has made me forgot, Bana. We train on Tuesday, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe Friday. Tuesday, no. Thursday, and maybe Friday. No, not yeah. Monday. Not Monday. Not Monday, yeah. Okay, thanks. Thank Monday. you. Thank you for the correction. Monday, yeah. Okay, back to you, Jilly. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Botsio is watching all the way. Uh, you, Samuel Namonio is watching. Osiche, Apo Mepatikana. Dennis Villa, Lea Williams, Puri, uh, Purity Omariba, Diana Omariba. Jackie C, your family is all they... <laughs> Jackie C. Family family is supporting. Rui, Support system. Ian Chama, <laughs> Dennis, Dennis Owoka, Onyango Tieno, Mandela Cyril, Victor Pere, Karibuni. Dennis Owoka, Strathmore have a, have, has a sports complex. Jackie C, that Strathmore has a sports complex. Yeah, Strathmore has a sports complex. At mm-hmm. Madaraka. Those who know Stema like Koni, Osiche, 
I think yes. almost all hockey men know Stema. I think yeah, all I know. Know. I don't so, know Stema. Around that place. <laughs> I don't want to go down that road, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so guys, uh, some of the disadvantages that you guys have faced during this COVID, uh, the pandemic duration, what has changed in your teams and how are you handling the situations as captains? We can start with Victor. Uh, I think my players, my players miss, uh, there's, there's some test that comes with working together. As much as you may train on your own at home, there's a way, there's a way you just feel when you're working with your teammate next to you. So it has really affected our, work, our working schedule. So as much as people are working on their own, you're not able to gauge yourself against your teammate and know if I'm pushing myself hard enough or if this is enough for the team, if this is acceptable and I resume. Then the morale is, I'm not sure if my players in the, are in the right mindset that I left them before the corona thing. So it's, it's a tricky balance to tell, but I hope when you resume, I'll find my players in the right setup both physically and mentally. Because again, now with Corona, people are, are messing up their livelihoods. So you're not sure if you'll find your player in the right mindset, whatever he has gone through, if you'll be able to come back in the right mindset and give you 100%. But we just hope that everything will be back. But most importantly, we, we just miss each other, we just miss the workouts, the bonding and everything. Yeah. Okay, Con- Constance? <laughs> yeah, I miss my my teammates a lot you know my teammates it's like a family to me because we train together we go have fun together we enjoy life together <laughs> covid has really messed up has really messed a lot now we are we are trying to train we are sending some workouts in whatsapp group players to train and send some some workout and we also do some morning runs alone which is not good as Ositi has said we used to work as a team we train as a team we run as a team but now that bond is not there we hope <coughs> that we end and, and we come back together to enjoy together. Thank you. Follow Mariba. Yes. Yes, my name. As Osicha said, Bana, there is cold, Bana. So, uh, Ebu, ask your question again. We're asking how the COVID uh, pandemic has affected you as a team and how you're coping up with everything. Uh, The pandemic has affected our training routines. It has also affected uh, most of the team boarding sessions we had. And uh, me and my teammates have had a lot of those sessions before the pandemic interfered a bit. But uh, we are trying to cope with the situation by having a Zoom meeting on Sundays and discussing the weekly routine that we sent on the previous Sunday. So that's how we cope up with the situation. So we discuss okay. the routines and we bond as a, as a team after discussing the serious matters. Okay, Omondi is watching. Mondi your catch is locked. Uh, Said Rashid has said, amazing young players with immense talent. Keep up with the spirit, boys. The mantle is you, in you. your hand. Blessed Thank career you. ahead. Thank you. And then Dennis Walker, how are the teams getting ready for post-COVID competitions? Ama, everyone is on holiday. I think if you guys just answered that. Uh, Connie, Mrs. Camp David. <laughs> That's <laughs> Dennis a lot, a lot. <laughs> and I think I think I think there is somewhere that Osiche misses a lot. We don't we can't. <laughs> Osiche, you don't, don't, have to be don't go to details. <laughs> I, I won't, I won't, I swear. So guys, uh what what happens 
when <laughs> you are told that the league will resume maybe in a month are you guys prepared because i think it will be one way what what are your plans how have you planned to uh, work with that polo mariba hey it had to be me <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> Uh, I think my teammates are in good uh, physical state because they normally work out. Maybe we're not done yet, but when the league resumes, we'll definitely know. And uh, we normally send some <clears throat> workout routines and also some hockey clips so that people may in- implement in their free time. So I think that might help us. as a team when we resume we'll just collect the pieces and we'll work that as a team okay uh, uh constant <laughs> okay we make sure we sent the workout on the group and i've said you do your workout you send a video and also we encourage players to go for gym so that we can be in the same level we encourage also morning runs so that when the league resume we we can be in good shape yeah okay osiche osiche you are muted you are muted please unmute <laughs> Sorry. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Buttons, buttons. laughs> we'll put it on 70 MB. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, to echo what Konya said uh, and uh, uh, Bola said, we just keep doing whatever you can at home. So that... uh, we lost you. From zero. Sorry. Um, Come again we we lost your bit. Yeah. I'm saying at least if someone can just do at around uh, push yourself and get to 50 or 60% of your fitness while at home then when we meet up we can always bump in the 40% so that you get back to 100 or there about. Okay. Yeah. Barry, back to you. Thank you so much. Okay, uh guys, uh, uh do you think uh, when this pandemic uh, it's over? about the league uh do you think uh we will play uh, the league uh, round robin or uh, what are your suggestions about the league how do you think it will be uh we can start with you uh paul paul mariba <laughs> <laughs> uh as you can remember back in 2016 that's when we won the league and we played it like uh, round robin i think yeah. we should also do that we miss winning the league <laughs> <laughs> So I suggest you do you do uh, <laughs> Yeah 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 I, I think we are supposed to win this league bana it's been yeah. it's been long Yeah how about uh, if we do a uh, maybe play a cup or maybe yeah. play tournaments uh, what do you, what do you think of that Tournaments instead of the league Yeah yeah mm, that will be a good idea but I don't like tournaments because <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. you've lost one when you've lost one game Yeah. this orients you completely and uh, <clears throat> yeah yeah basically that's it i prefer the round robin yeah yeah uh, what about you uh, vito siche what's your take <laughs> vito siche i can't get you uh, okay. uh, i think yeah. for 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 the for the league resumption yeah whatever, whatever arrangement the union will pick up uh let's just go with it because now there's no time for to play like the, the normal league the way we do whatever arrangement they come up with it let's just use it let's at least enjoy the sport we love then we can always restructure the following year with a better strategy in grounds yeah thank you so much uh constant uh, what have you what have you to say Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll not talk much about that because you know the union is the one to make the decision yeah. whatever they'll say 
we just need to cooperate with them and play the the sport we love yeah uh thank you so much uh guys you know you're a gentleman of honor uh you play the sport because you love the sport uh tell us uh what are your plans to change uh the hockey our hockey in our country having the fact that uh it's somehow diminishing uh, we can start with your uh, victor victor siche i think my take on that issue uh yeah. will be if at all we can just learn from the scenarios that we face as a country in terms of hockey it can really help us go the extra mile whatever we did wrong the previous year or the previous years let us change it let us keep up with whatever the world is doing because we can't keep doing whatever we did 10 years ago and it, it didn't work we expect it to work in the next 5 years so let us just learn from our neighbors from international levels whatever they are getting right let's try and use our resources here and just mirror the same even if it's not exactly the same we just throw that line so that in case you get the resources in the future you will always get it right from there on yeah thank you so much uh, and uh, what what about on your personal personal levels how do you plan to to change the sport on your personal levels uh right now <coughs> you'll have seen it uh, maybe later or soon i was I'm, i'm actually working on something just like to just adapt a few players yeah the young the young midfielders that are coming up someone that you can show the way this is what you're supposed to do on the field this is what you're supposed to do off the field not necessarily my teammates but in other teams as well because if you're trying to build something you don't need to build at home yes you start from home but you can always extend the love somewhere else So I'm planning to adapt a few players that I'll bring on board just to make sure they are well get them shoes if a hockey stick is available you can always get them one however small you can give someone that hope to play the sport that it can take him somewhere else yeah thank you so much uh constant aura tell us something yes, something about what <laughs> 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 how you plan how you plan to change the change the sport uh, in the in the country uh, okay having the fact that uh, you play for the national team okay okay that's for you yeah first of all yeah. as a country yeah we need to come together and share some ideas you give back to the society it doesn't matter which team you playing or which team you coaching Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting it? Yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you know our main our main problem is basics. We don't have good basics. We need to start working on our basics. Yeah, and then we need to have some international friendly for us to go back where we were. At a personal level, I I I I train with some under 21 giving back to that's my giving back to the society I train with them I teach them what I know like I'm sp- I'm, I'm a specialist in drug click I teach them the the skill so that they can they can become better than me yeah thank you so much Uh, Paul, 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 Mariba, tell us, tell us something. Yes, sir. Yes, tell us, tell us. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, as you all know, Strathmore <clears throat> gets players from high schools. Yeah. So uh, when they come to the complex, yeah. I normally try and get one or two and motivate them to train with me, as Connie did with me. Yeah. We, when I came to Strath, he's the one who used to mentor me. into who I am today not in everything but <laughs> some of the things <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah and I look up to him up to now I normally train with him with the under 21 since I'm a, I'm a trapper as he, <clears throat> as he flicks I also try and learn to <clears throat> trap the ball in all the situations 
you know uh, our field situation so i try to adapt with, with it and i think that also helps and uh, i want to like urge people who are capable to facilitate projects like the tunza sports academy uh, i think that will really help in the building of the sport if so, i if uh, i had my ways i could such start such a thing but at the moment i can't comment a lot on that thank you so much okay. uh, i have a, a question before i hand over to jilly uh, i know you guys have played against each other in one i've played with each other <laughs> in one scenario or another i know mm -hmm. uh, osicha has played with the constant uh, i think in uh, high school paul mariba with the constant uh, in uh, club level so tell me about the experience that you had playing against each other. I mean, the fact that uh, Constant maybe plays for Butali, Paul Mariba plays for Strathmore, and you're playing against each other. You get, you get to the field, uh, you have to tackle maybe each other. How is the experience playing against each other? I uh, can start with uh, Paul, Paul Mariba. <laughs> uh, the experience is normally nice. Yeah. There is some ri rivalry. Since yeah. uh, we are also friends of the pitch, <laughs> and <laughs> most of the times you'll find that the previous day we hung out. Like for example, I'm playing with <clears throat> Koni. Uh -huh. uh, I can maybe go at his place. We can cook and eat as we wait for the big day tomorrow. But once we enter that gate, you all know that small <laughs> gate. <laughs> I think yeah. it's, it's it's normally business. <laughs> Koni cannot yeah. even smile with you. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a defender and he's a drug speaker so yeah. every time he tells me that I'm just going to score <clears throat> where he'll be covering that's the the fourth rusher and yeah. obviously I have to disapprove him so <laughs> I, I normally <laughs> try and do my best okay yeah. Connie, Connie tell us something but <laughs> okay <laughs> I've played with Osiche. He was my teammate in high school, and before he joined the court, he was in Strathmore. And I've played also with Paul Mariba. And playing playing against each other, it's rivalry and pride. <laughs> <laughs> and you know pride, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> so when, when we get in that pitch, as Paul yeah. said, it's about business. You want to win, him, you want to win. So, <laughs> it's all about that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I remember the first encounter I played against Constant was in uh, 2013, mm -hmm. to be June, July. After I just left Strathmore and gone to, to j -Quart. Yeah. Uh, it was a very tough match, but again, we are friends, but each team wants to win, as he says, bragging rights and pride. <laughs> it was a really tough game. Strathmore beat us 2-1, but I enjoyed yeah. the game playing against Koni, at least you're seeing your fellow, your, 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 your friend is doing good on that side, you're also doing good on the other side. Uh, another memorable moment was uh, against Strathmore, Bondo, <laughs> was fireworks. So, <laughs> you're there, how many you it, but you can't laugh at that moment, but you wait after you do. Yeah. You laugh off loudly, but during the game, it's business. So as much as your friends, but on the pitch, yeah. you try and defend, and you try and defend your badge as much as possible. Then friendship. Yeah. Back to you, Jilly. Yeah, uh, Omondi, your catch. Jackie C, thanks for clarifying that he has not trained you in everything. Koni, people know you, huh? <laughs> it seems like people know you. And, and Jackie C not being trained in you, inclusive of everything. It, are you sure? That, that comment was not in a positive way. I mean, I'm just anyway. So guys, uh, I think a lot of people are watching, young players, uh, uh, your age mates, uh, older players. What's your message to those people who are aspiring to be like you, want to be like you, admire the way you're, you're leading other people or the way you play. What can you tell those people, the young upcoming players, 
that need to develop and reach your level. We'll start with that is your constants. Okay. First of all, yes. We have lost you, Connie. Are you sure? Yeah, no, now we can, can hear, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. First of all, before that, I want to thank Butali Warriors for the support they are giving us. I want to thank the our boss Sanjay and our patron Kamal for supporting us. They really sacrifice for us to to be who we are, we are today. Okay, on that point, Jili, it's about discipline, hard work. In discipline, if if you if you have a game like tomorrow, you need just to relax in the house, listen some music or play PS. Osiche, wait, Osiche, why are you laughing? Osiche, why are you laughing? It's like Tony is advising you. No, that, that, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's what you do. Okay, Cody, Cody, continue. Can I continue? Yeah. Yeah, it's about discipline and don't overindulge in other activities because you might lose your. <laughs> <laughs> you focus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just listen advice from your key players or other people from your coach because they have that experience. They have been there before you. And do your best. Work hard. Work hard. It doesn't matter who you're going to face. Because me, I believe there is nothing impossible. Everything is possible. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I think those are some nice words from you, Koni. Uh, Jackie C. Uh, uh, first of all, as Koni started, uh, I want to thank Strathmore for nurturing talents. I think Strathmore has produced many players who are currently in Butali. And uh, I really want to appreciate them for that. And basically, we just have to, like, uh, uh, what to the young people, I'll just advise them to work hard. You never know your, your moment. Uh, I even didn't know that I will be at Strath now, but uh, I think it's just working hard and putting God first in everything. I think... God has really come through for me in many ways. Uh, and another thing, uh, we should be disciplined and you should have your work ethic. You should know like when I'm supposed to do this, I should do this in good time. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you, Osiche. Uh, I only have one person to thank. Uh, mm -hmm. As the, as the Kisias put it, I think God has done some good things for us. Can you can attest where I've come from? Yeah. It's been quite a journey from 2009, the first time I played was, uh, with Kony, the first team. So you look at all the things that are happening. I think we're not any special, but we just kept working and kept the faith that we can play this game for the longest that we can. I know of a few people who dropped off and they're not playing, they were good players. But the fact that we are still here playing, we still have the energy, we're in good health, we can train, we can get the concepts. Just got to thank and our coaches and everyone that gives us the knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Really, can I add something? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I, I encourage young boys, you never know where sports will take you. Like me and Jack, see, it's, a, it's sports that gave us education. Where I'm working now, it's about sports. So just be disciplined and work hard. Work hard in class, work hard in, in, the, in the pitch, and everything shall be well. Yeah. Uh, Jill, uh, but, uh, to add on. Yeah, sure. Uh, for anyone that wants to hit those, okay, we're not at the top height yet. We're also still working, but at least yeah. we are somewhere yeah. else. If you want to get there, please do not compromise. 
do not compromise of your roadmap. If, if you've set your target that this is what you want to achieve, keep working. If things are not working, you keep working so long as you know your path is leading you somewhere and you're doing the right thing. Just keep working. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Festa Sonyango is trying to rattle you people. Anasema, tell the young players not to be like Osiche and Jakisi, they are fat. <laughs> I think that's a joke. That's a joke from a Festa. Joke, yeah. He is always a joker. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and Collins, Collins Odipo is saying, I love your eloquence, Osiche. Nimrod, uh, Bisonga, Festo, and Bia Wongeze medals. So I think that was for all of you, both of you. Barry, sure. if you have any question left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we cannot just end the show without uh, mentioning our ladies, our ladies teams. Yeah. Can you please tell us your preference in the ladies side and uh, maybe three of the standing players in your favorite uh, ladies team? Uh, Jackie, see, I can see you are excited. Uh, you can start with yeah. <laughs> I, want, I, I want you to clarify your question. <laughs> okay, you can you can tell me your favorite your favorite uh, ladies ladies team and mm -hmm. the three outstanding uh, ladies ladies uh, playing maybe in the Premier League or in the in the Super League that you think they are they are worth they worth uh, recognition. I what? think I think to make it easier for them, I think to make it easier for them, let's just say your favorite Premier League team, ladies team, and three top players in that team that you prefer in the ladies yeah. Premier League. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in just one team, or you can just mention three ladies in different teams. You can you can mention wherever you want. Yeah, it's you can. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, our ladies team is uh, is a big deal. I'll go with <laughs> them. Okay. Because they've they've achieved a lot, I think that the only team that uh, managed to hold telecom in a game. Blazers. Um, yeah. Blazers. Now they are Blazers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, sorry, Blazers. Uh, <clears throat> my three top players. Uh, I'll go with uh, Jackie Mwangi, uh, telecom forward. And Audrey, Audrey Omaido, and uh, Jilly, Jilly Okumu. Congrats, congrats, Jilly. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we can attest to that. She, she's normally a good player uh, for Strat. Yeah. Constance. Constance. Okay, ladies team. I'll go, I'll go with, with Tratmo. Scorpions. Yeah. Okay, my three top players. I'll start with, I'll go with Cynthia, the goalkeeper for Blazers, and Flavian, and Gilly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll go with the uh, goalkeeper, Blazers, Cynthia Wanyango. She's a top notch goalkeeper, no doubt about that. Uh, I'll also go with the uh, Flavian. He makes some superb tackles out there. You can always see them. Uh, forward line, I'm torn between. Uh, Jilly and Jackie Mwangi, but because of experience, I'll go for Jackie Mwangi, what she has achieved. Jilly, keep, keep, keep going, keep going. Like you for some. I will. I will. So, uh, Jackie C, what are your social media handles? Because there are some fans when you want to check you up, want to follow and want to know more about you. I'm going to customer. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Instagram, uh, Paul, Paulo, and uh, the Prince, uh, Facebook, <laughs> Paulo Mariba Prince, uh, yeah, Barini <laughs> We are and so angry. we are so <laughs> <laughs> mini mini prince kwetu ba 
Uh, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Uh, uh, Twitter, Okwonko. Hey. <laughs> 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 that that that. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Okwonko. And I think, I think first us, first us, and Lisema Vizuri. Umejita ni Okwonko. First us, <laughs> Okwonko, you want to come to the party. Okwonko ni Sonko. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Constance. Okay. Twitter at Koni. Facebook Constant Wahura. Instagram Constant Wahura. Okay. Uh, Victor. Uh, Facebook uh, it's Osiche or Victor. Instagram it's uh, Vic underscore Osiche. Twitter it's uh, Victor Osiche. And, and Osiche, on that, you've reminded me of something. I want you just to tell us more about Ruz Hockey and, and I'll give you a chance to say something about it because now you're here. Uh, I think Ruz Hockey was a, was a blessing to me because how it came about, it was just uh, it was some goodwill from them. They took me up, put me under their wing. They sponsored me with their equipment. Uh, hockey advice, guidance, what I'm supposed to do as a player, to make sure I hit the levels I want to hit, my training schedule. Then general life guidance, what players will do on or off field. So I think they are really coming through for me. Then whatever they are sharing with me, I'm able to share with my friends and teammates, just to ensure that at least we get the levels that we are supposed to get as a country. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uta pata, uta pata, uta pata. <laughs> uh, sawa, sawa. Uh, remember also to follow us Hokikei on Facebook, Hokikei on uh, Instagram, and Hokikei on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, to our fans, uh, you can ask your last questions as we are coming uh, it all up. And thank you again to the fans for staying tuned and following us in this exclusive chat with the amazing captains of the top teams in the pre hockey men Premier League. Uh, Constance, any last words to your fans, to your people? Utume salamu, ufanye kila To my fans. Mipiko akotuni, mipiko akotuni, jama. Sai vile, sai vile jota imeka, imeka liati, imeka liati. Wameka kwa billboard. Hey, jama, muna choma bana. To my fans, thank you so much for supporting us. And to my my teammates, our management, I thank you so much for supporting me and supporting the team. May you continue with that spirit. May God bless you. To Hockey KE, thank you for the program. We really appreciate it your effort. Yeah. Okay, Osiche, Victor. Uh, first to thank you, the Hockey KE. Thank you for the platform. At least we may have reached out to two or three people that may improve from whatever we have shared. To our fans at Greenshark, thank you so much for always supporting us and supporting the sport. To management at Greenshark Hockey Club, Let's keep doing what you're doing and the club will be bigger. To my friends out there who play hockey, let's keep enjoying the sport. As much as we may not get some benefit from it, but let's keep enjoying the sport. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Paul? I will say my last but not least, Kwanza Lafund on ISM. Last but not least. Okay, last yes. but not least. Please, Paul Omariba, please. Please, please. <laughs> Urajaja mimi no last born one. first of all I like to thank my family, my support system. Mmeona hapo kwa comment section wako wengi. Then I like to thank my teammates. Uh <coughs> Gladiators Hockey Club and the uh, Scorpions Hockey <coughs> Scorpions Hockey Club. Mm, my friends Sakina Koni from Butali, Osiche from Green Sharks and uh I'd like to thank uh, the Strathmore Institution. 
and last but not least Toki KE thanks for hosting us Kingdom kingdom wata nitalamia watu pale Mumias Kingdom Mumias Kingdom wasalivike kabisa najua watu wako huge pale the kingdom is always proud eh yeah amen asatamia kila mse kutoka hizo maeneo ni siu wala tunajua kweli zwale wacha kufunja kwenu ah java java sasa tivije aje watu watu wa camp david watu wa camp david wako na Baby ni bomolewa wako sawa. Ili bomolewa. Oh, oh, uko ni unge to inform before show ianze. Tumewakaribisha huko kwetu bana. Thank you, thank you so much my co-host Barry, thank you so much. Your last words to our fans and the amazing captains we have here maybe. Uh, I would like to say uh, to the fans uh, that are watching, thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for thank you so much uh, zenya tujasema nazenda kwa show kwa muangalie mu reply uh, thank you thank you to the captains for representing representing your various clubs yeah that's all that i can say asanteni sana asanteni sana uh, kwanza for the fans we really really appreciate your comments we really appreciate your participation during this exclusive chat to the captains thank you for being amazing people thank you for inspiring us like most of you if not all inspire me personally i look up to you as as my mentors so keep on the good work you never know who's watching you never know who's looking on to you as as an inspiration to them so kudos let's continue with that spirit remember to follow us on uh instagram at hokike e on facebook at hokike e twitter and youtube on hokike e Uh, Santeni sana if you can just wave and say bye and Yo. thank you fam. bye bye <laughs> cheers 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 Paul Paul yeah. Mariba cheers Otiche <laughs> Paul I may survive na English clap clap for Paul Mariba guys clap for Paul Mariba that was awesome that was awesome <laughs> 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 Santeni sana <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Dilin talibisha hiyo <laughs> you guys you guys see you guys thank you bye bye see you guys bye 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 good night